Good morning, beautiful people, and happy Friday. Hopefully, everyone is doing well. Hopefully, you have thanked God for allowing you to see this beautiful, beautiful day. And hopefully, you all are doing well. Coming to you again with another reaction video. This one is on Catfish. This episode aired on Wednesday. Um, it is basically about a little backstory. Um, the guy, Dijon, I believe that's his name, <laughs> was talking to a young lady named Cache, whom he'd been talking to her for about almost two years. And he's from Detroit. And the crazier part is that she lives in Detroit as well. So I'm not understanding why it's taken almost two years to see someone that lives literally in the same state and city that you live in. Makes no sense to me. But, cool. Now, this um, portion, well, this episode um, is actually where... They found out that it wasn't really the real girl. Um, her cousin actually came and met with them to pretty much tell them that, you know, she's been doing this a lot. Um, she's been telling her to stop with, uh, you know, the fake profiles and things of that nature. So, um, you know, the, the cachet girl decided to go ahead and um, meet up with him and reveal who she really is. So let's get into the video. used a lot, though. The house kind of feels like nobody's here. That doesn't feel super lived in, right? Now. It's blocked. It's upstairs. Oh, I see someone. You do? Yeah. No, oh, I definitely see someone. Someone just came down the stairs. Come around to the back. Here, it was a woman boy. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's crazy. Thank you for agreeing to meet us. Just to be very clear, you've been talking to Dejan? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's your name? My real name is Jave. <laughs> Sydney, who we met yesterday, is that your cousin? Yeah. Okay. Are you all right? Yes, I'm okay. It's overwhelming. Yeah. 21 months down the drain, I didn't know who you were. Got a whole bunch of questions. Can we just get your stats? Are you 30? Yeah, I'm 30. And do you have a son? No. Do you, do you have any kid, uh, children? No. Okay. Wow. Have you ever ran into Dejan before? Because you guys live really close to each other. <gasps> what happened? Why did you mess with me? I mean, for one one time, just 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 be real. I didn't even like this is not intentional. Like it just happened. I guess in the beginning it was a game. I was fishing one day on POF, and some type of way he 
just got hooked. Mm. It wasn't necessarily you I was fishing for. It just happened. And like over the little years, you know, we just grown to be close, I guess, you know? You had me believing in a, uh, uh, in a whole another woman. No, I had to. Okay, now. <clears throat> I'm trying to figure out, do y'all think he's more upset at the fact that she wasn't who he thought she was, like, physically? Or do you think he's more upset at the fact that she lied about, you know, having a child or having children and things of that nature. Like, what do, what do you guys think? Do you think it's more of him feeling a way that she lies, so to speak, about things? Or is it more the way that she looked? Looking at a whole nother woman. But the, the woman that you talk to every day is me. Why use somebody else's photos? Like, you're an attractive woman. You have beautiful eyes. Why not use pictures of yourself? When you're behind that person... You can do, and you can be, and you can create the image that you want to portray to somebody else. And I don't know how people are going to respond to me, because I already know how I've been tormented in my past. You know what I'm saying? I know how I've been judged. Cachet probably might be a little bit better than my real person. When did you first start making a fake profile? I've been fishing since before... Catfish was really catfish. Like the chat lines, the phone chat lines and stuff like that. It was like an outlet. How many profiles have you had? Ain't no telling. I was so caught up in cache that like a couple months ago went and purchased a engagement ring. I was that serious. Because you guys... Okay, now, me personally, now, now, okay, now, <laughs> come on, it ain't no way <laughs> I'm purchasing an engagement ring for someone whom I haven't seen in, met in person in a, almost two years. Like, that's not happening. <laughs> I... <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't I don't understand. I mean, you know, he hasn't really been like he's not really social media and um all of that, you know, uh up to date, but come on. Almost two years, you haven't met this person, you attempt to meet him, something's always coming up, but you go purchase an engagement ring. Like that's that's kinda crazy talked about starting a life together. Yeah. I forked over a lot of money for that damn ring, thinking that I found my one. I'm sorry, Dejan. I'm sorry. I care about you. Like, I really... I care about you. I didn't want to hurt you, okay? I can't do nothing but stand here as a woman, as me, and apologize and hope that you can still try to start over as friends. That's all, you know? I mean... I need some air real quick. This is a bit much, a bit much for me. Oh, Lord. This is crazy as hell. So we did have people. Nothing was real. What do you think drove you? Now, my thing is, okay, he said nothing was real, but... 
I don't know. Like, I really feel like, <clears throat> I feel bad for her that, you know, she felt like she couldn't be herself. And, you know, obviously she's dealing with no self-esteem and things that nature. You know, I really do feel for her with that. But when it comes to, like, the feelings that you truly have for a person, like, how can you say that? Nothing was real. Do you feel like I personally feel he's saying nothing was real because she isn't who she doesn't look like who he thought she was. But can you really say that the feelings that she has or, you know, whatever she told him about how she felt isn't real? Like, I don't know. Let me know what y'all think. To kind of hide behind these profiles. I had a terrible childhood, and I was not nobody's friend. I found Cachet. She was really, really pretty. And, like, my profile just didn't work like hers. Cachet is just very nice and just, I don't know. Are you not nice? She's just different. I get nervous. I laugh when I'm nervous. That's fine. I cry. Like, I'm weird. I don't think you're that weird. You're different. You're interesting. Thank you. My only issue with it is that you're you're really hurting other people. Everything was lies. Everything. I'm in love with a figment of my imagination, or a figment of someone else's imagination. I don't know. I've never went through no situation like this. This is, this is crazy as hell. I, I don't even know that girl. I don't. I, I've never felt this way ever. Should we go back? Yeah, yeah, if you want some. See, that's, I don't know. That's my thing. Like, he keeps saying he don't know her. You know, it's crazy. Like, I understand being catfished. I'm sure it's crazy. Let me know in the comment section if anybody has ever been catfished before. Um, <clears throat> I know that it's crazy, and I know that it's like, wow. But I feel like a lot of times with catfish, it be more physical. Like, I think a lot of people be looking at the fact that, oh, I fell in love with this person and how they look. But at the same time... When, you know, Neve is interviewing them, they like, oh, you know, this person make me feel this way. You know, we talk about this, we talk about that, their energy, their vibe, this and the third. But, okay, is your real vibe or real feeling based upon the things that y'all communicate about? Or is it really physical? Like, you, y'all, it's like so many stories where people will say it's not about the physical but at the same time, I feel like it do. I really feel like it be about the physical. I think if you don't look like the pictures that you've been sending and that's who they fell in love with, the looks, then everything that you said, everything that you felt is fake. Like, that's not really fair at the end of the day. I, I don't know. I don't want to do this anymore. I, I care about that man. He's a good-hearted person. I never meant to hurt him. We're back. Why don't we go inside? And we can all sit down and we can talk a little bit more. That's fine. Have you ever been two hopeless hook up an identical twin? Everybody in Hawaii is in on this. That's insane. Like, <laughs> if you guys made it to the end of this video, leave some hearts in the comments section. Um, just, I mean, I don't know. Like, I feel bad for her, you know. Um, do I feel bad for him? Uh, I mean, it, it sucks. But when, if you're basing things off of looks, then I can't feel sorry for you. Because at the end of the day, that's the problem with society now. We're so stuck on looks and you have to have this certain type of body. You got to look like this, look like that. But nobody's focusing on personality. Nobody's focusing on your mental 
you know, your heart, like how genuine you are, because you can be very beautiful, but have an ugly heart, ugly spirit. So I don't know. Like, let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Has anybody ever been catfished? Do you think that he is pretty much more focused on the fact that she isn't who he thought she was in the well because of the fact that she isn't who he thought she was or do you feel like he's telling himself like oh I don't know this person everything was lies because of the fact that oh she don't look like what you know he thought she looked like because me personally I think it's about looks I think that's what he's basing everything off of I don't think that the feelings that he claimed or the way she, the way he said she made him feel, I don't think it's based on really her as a person. I think it's more so how she looked is what I think he fell in love with. So y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. So then, bye guys. Oh wait, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell to be notified. Tell a friend, tell a friend to come check out Queen Libra. So next time, bye guys.